And hello again. Uh, unit 5 is the last one you have to study for the grammar test. The first topic in Unit 5 is the uses of like, like as a verb. Would you like some help? And like, use it together with verb to be, like in the end, to ask for a description. What's the weather like? What's the classroom like? Okay. Uh, look like, uh, who do you look like? I look like my dad, I look like my mom, all right? Uh, like for giving example, uh, I work as a teacher, as it's my job, I am a teacher. I work like a teacher, it's similar to, my job is similar to a teacher, but I am not a teacher, so like as similar to, okay? And we have the dreadful infinitive of verbs or ing form, gerund form. I'm sorry, you are going to memorize again. But hey, that's intermediate level. It's one step for the advanced level. Do your best, students. So, in general, we studied. When we have an adjective, the next verb is in, you have to memorize. Infinitive. So infinitive, we say to. Okay? It's nice to hear from you. See? When we have a preposition, the next verb is in. You need to memorize. Next verb finishes in ing. And remember, it's not present continuous. It's infinitive. Finish in ing. Before speaking the next rule, I'm giving this example. Before speaking. See, before, preposition, speaking, ing, because of, be uh, before. And then comes those lists. We watch it, a video class from another professor uh, on YouTube. I would recommend you to take a look again. It's in my playlist, okay? Go there, choose your level, see the class again, or look at your notes, because I'm pretty sure you took notes of everything. Okay, since you are reviewing everything. But in a general perspective, we memorize certain verbs that after these verbs, it's not to as infinitive, but ing. I'm going to give examples. This is a review, it's not everything here. For example, mind, enjoy, okay, uh, uh, in, let me see, hate. So, would you mind copying this for your best friend? I hate doing that. So, I enjoy studying this. Okay. We studied three little verbs. Who remembers the three little verbs? They are make, let, and help. These three verbs, they don't have ing. Neither ing nor to. It's nothing. I need to make you understand this. Okay? Let me help you. Okay? Uh, students, we studied another three little verbs that turn into six because the, tr the meaning changes and change the rule. Uh, try, remember. Stop. You cannot read, can you? But you can hear me. Uh, try. There is the try hard. Uh, I tried memorizing all these verbs. There is the stop. Remember, we memorize in this way. Parar para, parar de. I stop it to listen to you. I stop it listening to you because I don't like you anymore. Okay? And we have the remember, remember automatically. I remember to take a shower, but not necessarily stop and say, mm hmm, and remember by memory. I remember doing this before, it was so nice, okay? And the typical verbs that go with to, decide to, want to, okay? But you have to go through the list. It's not hard, students. It's not hard. You will survive, I promise you. Finally, the phrasal verbs. 
I, in this lesson, I generalized the cases. Uh, I didn't go for the verb. In lessons two, three, four, I went for a verb come, get, and go. This lesson, no. I went for uh, a theme. Phrasal verbs use it to get out. Phrasal verbs use it to get, uh, get in. And I put a few of them, okay? It's interesting. You should memorize more, okay? Well, that's it for the review class. I hope you have enjoyed, but I know you haven't because you have to memorize all of, all of that. See you in the next video class or real class. Who knows? <laughs>